So lately, I've been working on creating longer video sequences with WAN 2.2. Uh, one of the difficulties here is that it's really only possible to generate a clip of about five or six seconds in length at a time. So I spent a few days putting together a bit of a workflow for generating arbitrarily long clips using a keyframing process. And the idea here is very much like working on an animated film, where I want to set up a sequence of important still frames every few seconds that carry the overall motion of the scene. And I wanted to be able to exert influence over each individual segment to have as much control as possible over the actions of the character. So each clip can be directed separately, generated in any order, and regenerated individually if uh, necessary. Like Maybe some strange artifact gets generated in one segment and it sort of ruins the whole thing. So you can regenerate it a few times to get the best take. A critical element here was a subgraph that I put together to uh, seamlessly blend clips together rather than just concatenating them. There's a bit of uh, black sorcery going on here. But the overall idea is that you need the context of more than one frame from each segment to extrapolate uh, motion vectors from one shot to the next. Otherwise, you get these jarring join points from one segment to another, and it never really works very well. So ultimately, I'm pretty happy with the workflow I've made. I can create videos of any length at all, really, uh, with a very high degree of control. So I think the creation of the keyframes on their own needs some further work. I encounter some issues still with elements of the background not always matching up, especially when there's some camera motion. So things like uh, books disappearing, walls shifting in one direction or the other. Uh, there's one of these shots, uh, there's a clock on the wall in one frame and then Moments later, the clock has disappeared, so there's a few things I need to work out with uh, consistency still. I've rendered out a few of these sequences as tests, really, to get a handle on things. I injected my character into a few still frames from an old film, and this seems to have worked out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the results here.